If you'd like to see how I did this more glamorous makeup look since the Oscars were yesterday and in honor of the Oscars, I thought I'd do a bit of a more glamorous look and today's also my birthday so I thought I'd do something I like to do which is I like glamour makeup using the new NARS palette that I got the Guy Borden one. So keep watching. Okay, I've already done my foundation. I used my favorite Wet n Wild coverall in color 820 and concealer MAC and NARS Poon Job and Eden from Urban Decay eye primer. And now I'm already doing my nose with the LA Girl in Almond and I'm cheating. I am using a wax stick to get a straighter line. Trying to draw it freehand for some reason is very, very difficult. And then I draw a little triangle at the end and then go down at the end just to make that little V. And then I'm gonna go in now and blend that with a tiny little concealer brush. And now this is the NYX yellow highlighter or concealer. And so I'm gonna use it as a highlighter and I'm gonna put some in the middle of my forehead, under my eyes, and it's wonderful. It's really, really lightweight. It soaks in, it's very liquidy. So it doesn't have any kind of really a buildup or a heaviness that looks cakey on the pores. It just, in a few minutes, it soaks right in. And then I just go down on the center of my nose. And then I'm gonna do the Cupid's bow and then my chin and go ahead and fan it out a little bit. And I do take it back from the eyes on the cheekbone and then I'm taking now the Sigma brush and I'm just blending it in. That's the same brush I go ahead and apply my foundation with. It has a little foundation even on it left over from when I just applied my foundation. So it's a little damp so the colors do kind of smush in together basically. Now I'm taking my concealer brush that I already applied the matte concealer with and also spreading that out underneath the eyes. I'm going down the center of the nose a little bit. I do, I touched my nose a little bit on the darker concealer, so that's why I put a little bit of a dab on that black towel. And then here I'm just going back again under the eyes. I have a lot of dark circles for some reason. And so the yellow and also the orange really does help counteract that purple. And so I'm working that in over the concealer NC25 from the MAC that I already put on and let it soak in for a few minutes. So anyway, I'm just blending that all in right here, really getting that worked in up the center of the nose again. And then I take my fingers and just blend it a little bit so it's a little more subtle. I'm gonna go back over in a bit with the powder anyway. So I'm taking the little tiny Real Techniques concealer brush and just going over that line a little bit, blending it in again. And I don't bring it all the way down the nose. I just put a little line on the center. So now I'm taking the Sigma brush again, the foundation brush, and I'm just going back over, blend, 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 a little with the finger. Fingers just work really good under the eyes especially. This is powder, the NARS Poon Job Foundation Powder, the absolute greatest powder in the whole world. I adore this powder. It's my favorite. It's such a great color, such great coverage. It's not too thick. It doesn't crease. I think the worst foundation powder is that MAC Studio Fix. It creases so bad and it's cakey, but this NARS is just beautiful, lightweight coverage going over the nose, just blending that powder in. So my hair is wet. I'm only half ready right now. So now I'm taking the NARS Guy Borden palette. I'm taking the Laguna with the contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm working it under the cheekbone to go ahead and contour. So I always start with my cheekbones first and it helps define and frame the face before you do the rest of your makeup. Go along the jawline here, which really does sharpen the features quite a bit. And any place where it's not even exactly under the chin, putting that on there will draw a straighter line. And then I take it on down the neck, um, any kind of little lines in your neck, just work it along. And then I'm going back over the nose just a little bit here and under the cheekbones, just evening it, it out. Back to the Guy Borden palette from NARS. I'm taking the beautiful blush that it came with. 
I will have to link the color below offhand. I can't remember what it is, but it's like a peach colored blush. It's so natural, fresh, and just beautiful. I just adore that blush color. So this is, what is that? Oh, this is my lip liner from MAC. I'll have to look up the color as well, but it's like a deep a red color, basically, kind of a burgundy. So I'm drawing in the lines with the lip liner, and I like to do that first before I put the eyeshadow on. I do my eyebrows, I do the contoured cheeks, and then I go ahead and put the lip liner on because that way you can balance the color a little bit better on the rest of your face when you already have your lips on, but then I don't really add anything like lip gloss just yet because then that will get messy if your hand accidentally touches it. So I'm taking a little bit of my favorite MAC lipstick there. And so now I'm going in with the peach eyeshadow from the Guy Borden palette from NARS. It's just the light color. I'm taking a large shading brush and just going over the whole lid, working that in. I also put on a shadow shield under my eye. I just tried it with one eye. This is my first time using them. I just got them from Amazon, so I'm a little iffy on it. It really sticks on like a band-aid and I'm not sure about it, it's in the way a little bit. So now I am taking the transition color, which there is a very warm brown, almost a terracotta from NARS. I'll look up the color and put it below and I'm working it in the crease. And since I have hooded eyes, I am going a little bit higher than the natural brow bone crease and going just bring it up a couple of millimeters so that you can see the transition color when I open my eyes. It's a beautiful color. I really like it so much. So I'm just blending it in both the sides. Okay, so both the shadow shields are driving me crazy. They feel weird and they're almost too tacky. Okay, so now I'm doing the black with a tiny little shading brush, working that in the corners. It's a beautiful matte black shade, not sparkle. I feel that it doesn't really look that good putting sparkle in your black, at least on when you're building the outer corner of the crease and building out the V. It works best with matte. And then if you do add a sparkle black, it's better to do it at the very end after you've built the eye look. So I'm working it in and I'm defining the crease a little, little bit better over the transition shade of that warm terracotta brown color. So now I'm going to do the other side. I think it does work better when you take a tiny little detail brush and you just slowly work it in. I know they have larger brushes that are actually crease brushes meant for working that black in the outer crease and edges, but I feel that the tiny little brush works best. It's a lot nicer and neater and cleaner so that you have less fallout and it gives you a more precise line, especially with the hooded eyes when you have to bring it up just slightly higher than the natural crease so that when your eyes are open, it'll show. And that's why I keep stopping and looking at the mirror because I it will just disappear if I don't bring it up that extra two millimeters. And it also helps really define the eye. So now I'm picking up some more of the peach shade and just blending on both sides. Uh, really, it's such a buttery soft eyeshadow too. It just blends so well. Now I went back and grabbed that warm brown tone again and I'm going over the lids again and putting it on top the black, just blending it, just punching up that shade. It's such a highly pigmented color of eyeshadow. It looks so pretty when you do that over the black matte. It's got a slight sheen to it, a slight sparkle, and it looks really pretty. So now I'm taking my blending brush and I just cleaned it on that black towel. That's why I have black towels actually. Everybody needs four black towels. Perfect for wiping your makeup on, your hair color, your tanning cream. Um, you never have to worry if you wash your face and rub your mascara on it. It doesn't show. So everybody needs four black towels. Anyway, off on a tangent. So back to the eyeshadow. Just continuing to blend that 
in together, I'm blending the transition shade along with the black and then blending the eyelids and I'm cleaning the brush in between each one. Back to the NARS powder. Going back now underneath the eyes, um, when I remove those little shadow shields, they just rip off all the makeup and kind of rip off half your skin when you take them off. So I don't know about those if I'm going to use them again. So anyway, I'm adding more. I'm blending now all of the contouring, the blush, blending the nose a little bit further, wiping on the black towel again. And so now I'm going to go ahead and with the NYX black vinyl liquid liner. It's a waterproof. I absolutely love it. It's such a highly pigmented waterproof eyeliner. It's fantastic for the price. I think it's about six dollars and it's highly pigmented and I feel it really competes well with the very high-end liquid liners. Uh, my favorite of course is MAC Fluid Line but that is a 17-hour eyeliner that must be applied separately with an angle brush and it's a bit of an overkill on a regular day. The work it is to get it off is really better if you're going to go ahead and leave on your makeup for a 17 hour day. If you're just going out for like five hours and you need something to put on that looks fantastic, you know, this is, fa this is just great for everyday wear. I even feel that the brush it comes with is pretty good. A lot of times I'll go ahead and take some of the black eyeliner out and put it on the back of my hand and just use that angled brush for more precise lining. But this little brush that's in the product itself works fantastic. I feel like I don't even need to use a separate brush. I can just go ahead and grab it right out of the container. So anyway, I'm working it in both eyes, just making sure the lines match. Now I'm going in with MAC Smolder, my favorite waterline eyeliner. It's really the only one I found that I'm not allergic to that doesn't make my eyes turn red and bright and watery and, and hurt. So this one is great. It lasts. You do have to touch it up though, but it's so gentle. Okay, so now I'm taking the Tarte Black and I'm going under the lash line. This is a wonderful soft eyeliner pencil and it goes on like a soft pencil and then you go ahead and smudge it right away and then it sets. It is waterproof so it does last really really well without getting down your face. So I'm putting that on right now. I'm just going over. So now I'm going to take that warm brown again and I'm actually going to take a small concealer brush and I'm going over and smudging the black tart pencil under the eyelashes with that beautiful warm terracotta brown toned eyeshadow that again I will look up the name and put it below. So going back over that and just smudging it in. It's beautiful. So I'm going to go over the whole eye here. Yeah, working that in. I'm just smudging over the liner with that terracotta color brown. It just is such a soft, smoky, and smudgy look. Working that in the corner. I really work that V out and try to straighten it out, keep going. Now I'm going to curl my lashes here. So I tend to curl them twice. I do one on each side and I go back and I do them like one more time so that they're curled really, really well. And I'm using my favorite mascara, which is the Great Lash Maybelline Waterproof. Now I'm putting on some falsy eyelashes. I love these. They're cream or creme or however you say them. So you just wiggle them up and down to get it really nice and soft and flexible and just pop them on there with your finger. Um, you can also use tweezers, but I tend to use my finger a lot. Now I'm wiggling the other one to pop it on. It just helps it bend to your eye a little bit better so they're not sticking out straight like two petrified caterpillars. And so now I'm just going back in again with this yellow powder. This is from the NYX Contour and Highlight Powder. And I'm topping with yellow powder because it really does lighten up any purple areas. It helps to really highlight and make any fine lines disappear, any purple circles. And also... There's like a line under your eyes or a groove and it really helps to make that disappear. I'm going in 
any little creases. Um, working that yellow powder in, I feel, helps to hide them quite a lot, at least in photos. And going under the line right there on the back side of my eyes, if you bring the highlight way, way, way back, don't just stop under your eyes where your circles are. Like really bring it all the way back. Then I'm going in between my eyebrows, going down the middle of my nose, um, going over the chin area. So now I'm going back at the very end and touching up the whole look together so it's well balanced. I'm taking that Laguna bronzing powder and using it as a contour. So I'm going down the nose, under the cheekbones again, adding more of that peach colored blush at the very end, just to really even out everything, perfect everything. So over the cheeks again, I'm going back adding more of that brown color again, just really popping up the color, adding more pigment, smoothing it in so that it really is evened out extra pigment, extra pop there. Checking it, making sure it's matching. And I put on some beautiful tart lip gloss here. I'll have to look up that color too. And then going back. So here I'm taking more of that terracotta brown and I'm just going back again and adding even more just to make them a little more smoky. And then I'm going back with the matte black and further defining the V on the outer crease and just making sure that it's got, first of all, equal amounts of pigmented eyeshadow on both so they're equally well balanced, bringing it out just a little bit more, blending a little bit more just to really add that extra pop and oomph at the very end. They look pretty even, so I'm checking them. And then here I'm going back in the middle and adding some of that peach colored lip gloss from the Guy Bourdain NARS palette on top of the red that I already have. So my hair is still wet, so I got to dry that <laughs> to complete the look. So now I'm going in, drying the hair. Got to get the hair dry. So here is the completed look. Um, yes. So I think it looks pretty. I really like this palette. And then here it is also with some natural light. And I just love it. It's a more dramatic look, but I think that it's beautiful. Thank you for watching.